Hey guys, it's Christina with the Geocache family. Welcome back to our channel. If you are uh, new or visiting, um, we are in Zone 5B growing and um, we are first year on our property growing in a greenhouse and we are aiming to be a fully functional running nursery and um, food supplier. Uh, flower farm by next year so um, if you've watched any of our previous vlogs you know we have had COVID and we are one of those blessed families that we don't get it for just a few days or a week um, we've been sick for a month and um, in the throes of that you get a good day and then you get a bad day and then you get a good day and then you get a bad day um, we have chronic health problems where the weather also affects our joints. And we had a cold front come in a few days ago. And um, I am not used to the second greenhouse, which I'll show you guys. This this is my second greenhouse um, that we just got up and going. And um, I am not used to having this in my routine of care yet. Um, and honestly, we were just trying to keep animals um, alive while we have been so sick and so I have had some casualties hi guys it's editing Christina as I was going through I forgot to tell you um, why I had casualties the cold front meant that we did not turn the fans on and then after the two days of the cold we went up to very high heat and the fans weren't on and so my plants burnt so yeah anyway that's the end of the story um, those are all the tomatoes that were not planted yet and we had two cool days I did manage to water but um, yesterday it got up to the 90s and the fans weren't on out here and so um, they baked <clears throat> my cucumbers and my couple squashes I had left um, are mad so I came out this morning. Um, I still do not have the greatest energy, but the kids and I rallied together to at least get them in the ground and watered um, in the hopes that we can save them. If anything, this will be a chronological video of plants determined to survive and determined to grow. Um, in the past, I would not have even planted these. I would have just thrown them away. But um, in my 10 plus years of gardening, um, I have seen plants come back from the brink of death and do well. So, and of course, because we are all feeling like crap, um, my labels got mixed up already. I will show you what the things are that we planted, but there's a good chance that um, when I come back through to show you how everything is doing, um, <laughs> if it's marked a lemon cucumber, it might actually be a squash. Now, um, I have my labels just here because I did not bring in the actual tags yet. So these guys are supposed to be lemon cucumbers. Um, I actually think this is actually a squash, but it, I, like I said, I can't, I asked the kids and they didn't remember, they weren't paying attention. So this one I know is correct. This one is an Arminian cucumber. And I have five of them. And I know this one is correct because this is when just my son and I were out here working. But these are the straight eight cucumbers. These guys, I'm not sure. So these guys are labeled winter squash. Um, and there's four of those. These guys are okra. I know that is correct. And there's five of those. And then this one is um, spaghetti squash, and there's three of them. I actually think these ones are the winter squash. The other ones at the other end are the spaghetti. But um, And then these ones are cucumbers. So these, I think, are the pickles, and there's five of those. Um, the other things that we had in here, they were doing great until yesterday. Um, and so they're mad. I trimmed the tips off of most of them. I am pretty sure those guys back there are gone. But anyway, these are the Cosmos. I'm gonna keep watering them 
they actually look better. I watered last night and they actually perked up a few of them. So I'll have a few survivors. <clears throat> we'll just keep watering. Um, I had 35 of them and then I just pulled five this morning that were just sticks. So we're, we're down to 30. These are the mouse melons and they look rough. That one looks okay. That one is questionable. That one's questionable. I think that one can pull through. I think that one can pull through. And that one's questionable. The uh, tomatoes, they actually did okay. They only had a few burnt leaves. Uh, so it's really late to be planting these guys, but um, because we are in a greenhouse, there is a almost 20, 20 some degree difference from outside to inside, which is why yesterday being a 90 degree day, it was well over the hundreds in here. But um, I wanna see how far I can push these guys. Um, it would be nice to be able to offer my community um, fresh tomatoes even in the winter time. Um, at least till like November, because then it gets wicked cold um, in December and January, February out here. But um, we're gonna see. We do have heat, but we have not had a chance to have somebody come out here and inspect them so that we could use them. And I don't know if I can justify um, the electric bill. So um, ultimately, this space is going to be for my cooler crops. So we're going to do cabbages, kohlrabi, parsnips, turnips, carrots, um, Brussels, broccoli, uh, cauliflower, kale, lettuces, and spinach. Uh, so I think that's primarily what we're going to focus on. These guys that we just planted, it was just in the hopes of being able to go, um, you know, to the end of the season since they had already been started. These guys were started over a month ago and then we got sick, um, except for the tomatoes, which I started at the beginning of the season and never got those ones planted and we kept them alive the whole season and then I brought them over here just to kill them well except for those ones <laughs> but um, anyway they, they were already started at the beginning of this growing season and so I had them and I was like well let's see what happens um, so anyway these guys are just so they can grow until it gets too cold and then we will be able to transition over to um, the cool crops which my oldest is starting soil blocks for those now so that we can start the seeds. We are mid-September um, and trying to start um, our cold crop seeds. Um, ideally, I would have had these started already, but we got sick. So um, there, we're testing to see how things do. I have no idea. It's going to be a surprise for us, just like it's going to be a surprise for you guys. And it's all good. It's this was our test year. We were, um, you know, coming out to just see how things grew, to figure out our business model, what we wanted to do, what we wanted to offer, and you know, I've been able to use um, our community Facebook page to ask my community, what do you guys want? What do you need? Um, and, you know, to be able to whittle down, like, what I'm going to start in the spring. Um, for sale and for growing in the ground as well. So um, it's still a learning year. Um, I'm feeling a little bit more pressured because as I shared in our previous vlog, my husband lost his job and um, we are not self-sustaining yet. And so, you know, there may be curveballs in this too. We're just praying and hoping that he can find something that can keep the bills paid. So we are back to uh, basically how we were living in our urban farm where it was um, tight and the struggle was real so um, it's okay I know that God has us and we we are gonna make this work we are fighting for our farm and um, we are going to just try and keep growing all of the things through the winter time now so anyway thanks for coming along on this little tour of my second greenhouse and um, I will be sure to show you guys how they are doing now that I'm finally feeling a little bit better. We can get out here and care for them um, a lot more frequently and, and better than what we were able to do this last month. So 
Um, anyway, come back. Come back and see how things grow and change um, and how we do through the winter uh, in this greenhouse. Thank you guys so much for joining our journey. We love you. Grow as you go. And I'll see you next time. Bye.